Hello everyone and welcome to the latest episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I'm your host, Eric Smith, and today I'm talking about The Nightmare Room by Chris Sorensen. This is book one of the Messy Man series, and it is from Harmful Monkey Press. All right, so uh, what we have here is Peter and Hannah Larson, a lovely married couple, and they're moving back to Peter's hometown of Maple City after his father has uh, some health problems, and uh, some things happen, and Peter and Hannah end up moving into this old farmhouse uh, that Peter has just found out his father owns and has kept as a rental property. Uh, so Peanut, Peter and Hannah have to move into this farmhouse and some very weird and creepy things start happening and uh, the Larsons have to figure out what's going on and keep themselves safe. And that's it in a nutshell. All right, so The Nightmare Room. This is uh, it's a haunted house book. Uh, very much uh, in the vein of uh, The Conjuring and Insidious and um, uh, Sinister. Those are the, the movies, anyway, that came to mind when I was reading this. Um, and uh, what Chris Sorensen has done here is uh, written a very cinematic, in my opinion, book, uh, a haunted house story. Now, uh, he introduces us to... It starts off with uh, the little boy and the old man. And the little boy is being abused by the old man. And he's... Uh, locked in the basement which is where the nightmare room is and then we cut to meeting peter and hannah and uh chris Sorensen is an audiobook narrator and it just so happens that peter larson is an audiobook narrator which uh, i think is a first for me uh for a character you know we do see a lot of especially in horror a lot of stories where the main character is a horror writer and a lot of moving back to their hometown. So this is something that we've seen a lot. And, and again, Chris Sorensen basically using his occupation as the occupation of the character. But at least it's something different. It's not a horror author moving back to his hometown. Right off the bat, I have to say, I love the relationship between Peter and Hannah. Uh, the back and forth, the give and take. Uh, they, they're obviously very much in love um, and there's uh, been a recent, relatively recent tragedy in their past, uh, but they're working through it. And again, a lot of times in this type of story, you see when there's this sort of tragedy, you see it tearing the relationship apart. Um, and I do not see that here, which is something, something new. Again, it's their relationship seems to be as strong as ever. And they're they're moving forward together, um, uh, but I and I love their relationship. I, I just uh, they're they're well written characters with um, great dialogue, uh, and uh, I just I think they're fantastic. Um, so anyway, they move into this farmhouse, and Peter sets up his. Uh, his audio recording studio booth thing <laughs> in the basement and uh, in this uh, this nice little room that's tucked into the basement um, we happen to know some bad things have happened there and uh, right off the bat he, he starts he's testing his equipment he records and we get some weird or he gets some weird uh, audio stuff going on uh, with his track and that's sort of the first indication of something weird going on. And it slowly builds over the story. Uh, not too slowly for, uh, I'm not sure I would call this a slow burn. Um, things do build, but it's, I did say slowly builds over the story. It, it builds over the story, um, not that slowly. It's a rather quick, quick paced story. Um, it's a lot of great characters. Uh, Peter runs into an old friend of his, Riggs. 
and he's a fun character there's some ancillary characters that are pretty interesting um, at one point I don't think this is spoilery uh, once once things have built uh, and Peter realizes there's something uh, perhaps not quite so natural going on um, he contacts uh, an author whose books he uh, narrated did the audiobooks for uh, an author named Ellen Marks contacts her meets her I really dig her character a lot um, she reminded me a bit of the librarian character from Nosferatu by Joe Hill um, I don't uh, recall her name but uh, there were similarities between uh, Alan Marks in this book and that librarian character from Nosferatu and um, I really I don't know I like that kind of quirky character and you'll see uh, that Alan Marks definitely has her quirks a really really fun character a lot of great characters in this um, we do jump back and forth we'll get uh, a couple of chapters of of uh, Peter and Hannah and Maple City and then we'll jump to uh, the little boy and the old man again and obviously that's all gonna come together and we're gonna find out uh, what's going on and I think it comes together nicely uh, there's a very interesting twist at the end uh, in my opinion obviously uh, interesting twist um, and uh, it could be seen I suppose as uh, something we've seen before a bit of a trope or a cliche uh, but the way uh, Chris Sorensen handles it the way he writes it I think he puts a nice spin on it and uh, again some genuinely creepy moments in this book one in particular dealing with uh, the uh, the the little boy and some uh, crayon drawings that he's done. I really really liked that scene. And again, I could I could see this uh, this story being very cinematic. I could easily see this being filmed. Um. So yeah, so we we meet the characters. The story's progressing. Culminates, of course, in a big uh, big scene. I'm not going to give it away. Uh, the interesting thing here, again, book one of the Messy Man series. So while, again, it, it brings me back to movies, there is a resolution, but then there's also that ending that says, yeah, there's going to be more. Um, and, uh, yeah, I really, I really dug this story. I liked the writing. Very good, clean writing. One I mentioned wonderful dialogue, wonderful characters. Um, just just great, chilling scenes. Uh, it 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 just it works. It all works very well. Um, and I guess uh, with all of that being said. You know, I, I hate to get into too many specifics, or any specifics, I don't want to spoil it, so we'll get to the rating. And what we have here, very simplistic drawings, but I felt it was the way to go here. Um, I give The Nightmare Room by Chris Sorensen, I give it 5 out of 5 little kid crayon drawings and I actually drew these in crayon I mean you can't really tell in the picture there but uh, usually I use markers and colored pencils but since they're crayon drawings I use crayon five out of five absolutely um, I'm not familiar with Chris Sorensen at all I've never read anything else by him um, not sure he has anything else to be read uh, I've never listened to I don't listen to audiobooks I've tried um, and maybe I'm just picking the wrong ones because I just I can't get into it. I, I want to I want to read it for myself um, So I, I don't know this Chris Sorensen guy from Adam and I think he knocked it out of the park with this um, I'm very much looking forward to uh, book two of the messy man series and Anything else he might have I'm definitely going to check out 
uh, not the audio books books sorry Chris but uh, again not my thing but I'm gonna be looking for anything else that he's writing if it's as good as this it's gonna be well worth my time and money um, if, if you like again haunted house stories just really great characters um, and uh, by great I definitely mean well written um, and they are good I mean Peter and Hannah Larson are are good people there are people uh, that aren't necessarily good obviously the old man who's abusing the little boy not a good person but an interesting character um, and some others that you know eh, may or may not be the best people um, they're all pretty decent people people make mistakes that's all I'm gonna say uh, people do make mistakes it doesn't necessarily make them a horrible person but um, yeah uh, I'm gonna show you again because possibly the best drawings I've ever done um, but uh, yeah five out of five little kid stick figure crayon drawings for the nightmare room by Chris Larson really I, I flew through this once I got started um, I cared about the characters which is a very important thing when you're reading a book especially horror uh, you've got to care about the characters and uh, and Chris Sorensen pulls it off so I guess I'm done rambling about this one uh, if you have any comments questions or corrections Please put them in the comments below. Comments are open for spoilers. We'll just post a spoiler warning because we try to be nice here at the Low Budget Review Show. Um, I will have a link or two for this book in the description below, as always. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, everybody try to avoid the flu that's been going around. I've been lucky so far, but a lot of my friends have, have been sick. Um, so everybody just try to stay healthy and that's it for this episode of the low budget review show i have been eric smith and until next time read more books